Hello, and welcome to our guide on how to set up an Asus EE Transformer tablet. I'm going to show you how to set up your new Android tablet and install new applications. So let's get started. First, we click Start. Then we use the default input methods. Next. Then you tap on your Wi Fi network. Wait till it says connected. Then click next. Wait for the automatic date and time. Next. If you have a Google account, you can sign in and all your account information, music, passwords, songs, and everything else is automatically synced to your device. So I'm going to input that now. Now that we entered our username and password, we're now signing in. Alright, the next step is back up and restore. If you have a Google account, all your apps and settings are automatically backed up to the cloud, so if you sign into a new tablet, they're automatically restored. So let's click Next. GPS location is used for location-based services and apps. It's enabled by default, but you can later turn that off in the settings. Next. Congratulations, your device is now set up. see all the apps on your tablet, you click the little square in the corner. If you want to add an app to your home screen, just touch and hold it. And this is the home screen. So now that we have our tablet set up, let's add some apps. Go to the Play Store. Here are all the different apps you can have apps, games, movies, TV, music, books, magazines, and a whole lot more. For this demonstration, I'm going to re-download some apps that I already have from a previous tablet. So click on the download link. Here's the list of applications I already have. These are the ones installed. Now if I want to install other ones, I can scroll along here. Google Chrome is a Google browser and it syncs all your bookmarks and everything from every different desktop browser. So let's click install. This just shows what it's going to be doing and making different changes to your device. So click accept. Click OK. and it is now downloading. As you can see right there. So now we can see the apps that are newly installed. So let's start with Chrome. Here's the Chrome browser as I'm sure you're similar on the desktop version. So we click sign in. And now because I've already signed in with my Google account in the device, it automatically signs me in and starts syncing all my devices. So here we can see the weather for today. As you can see, it synced all my bookmarks from my desktop account. It also allows you to sync tabs with other devices as well. So here's the settings for your tablet. You have your Wi-Fi, which you can turn on and off and view different available networks. Bluetooth. Data usage shows how much you've used on your device, which is good especially for a three which is good especially for a three G tablet where you're doing downloads and stuff. You can change sound settings here, stuff your display, storage. Battery shows how much there is left on the battery and what's applications cause the most drain on the battery which is really cool from getting that max battery performance out of your device 
Here it shows your accounts. Your main account syncing is going to be your Google account. But you can also set up Skype, Facebook, and a whole lot more. Here's security. You can set up a screen lock. You can encrypt your tablet. You can set up passwords and trusted credentials. Here's location service. Here's where you can disable location if you don't want to be tracked, but most applications use it. You can also set up a backup so that all your information is automatically backed up to your Google account. As you can see here, we're going to be copying some music from the laptop to the tablet. You open up the tablet, which I snapped to the right, and then you open up my music, which I snapped to the left. This video is in time lapse because the actual copying took a little bit longer. So after opening those, you select the music on the left, drag it over to the music file on the right, and let off. It might pop up a warning. Just click continue and let it copy. Ignore any warning saying that the video or music file cannot be played as the music player will play it. So to reset your tablet, go to settings. Go to backup and reset. And then factory data reset. Everything else will be synced. And click reset tablet. Erase everything. And wait. Your tablet will shut off and reboot. And everything will be back to a factory default.